All right, hey guys, it's me again, Mario and Sonic for the win. I'm back to review um, the Jiro figure. You saw me unbox him in the previous video that I just put out. Um, and yeah, he's a pretty good figure. I'm, I'm a fan of him. Um, so yeah, let's get the review started. Well, first off, you can tell that other than his, his backpack slash projection light, he comes with an actual accessory, which happens to be his, um, his sword or his dagger. I'm not I don't remember which it was in the game. But either way, it actually is really sharp, just a little fun fact. That like that actually hurts if you go like this. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um and also he comes with the Minotaur projection light, obviously. Now if you want a little demo of it, I'll show you it. It's kinda dark here. There's my shoe figure. As you can tell. Alright, let me turn the camera light off. Okay, um, let's see if you can get that. See, that's what it looks like. Okay. Now, let's put the tripod back down. Sorry about that. I just wanted to show you a little demo of it. I'm going to do that for Mara Maru. I never did it for Sue. Now, back on. Okay, so, now, on to the actual figure. He looks actually really good. I'm happy to own this figure. For such a small one, he actually has an incredible likeness to the um GR in the video game. And even you can see like the wrinkles in his um in his tunic. Well that's what I call it, because it reminds me of like the Legend of Zelda, what Link wears. So yeah, that's a little fun fact. Um Yeah, you can even see um let's see. His hair. I don't know, let's see if it'll focus. Alright, but maybe it's a glare, but y you can see like the little detail of the lines of hair. Um, his eyes also look pretty good. Let's see if I zoom in, maybe it'll focus. Wow, it just did not want to focus for me. Okay, but his eyes look pretty good. Not too... Because some of the eyes in the, f in the series look kind of funky. Um, but yeah, now, the detail obviously looks great on the figure. So, we'll just do a quick 360 real quick. So yeah, obviously the detail looks great. So now let's get on to the articulation. Being such a small figure, only like the size of my index finger, and I have a really, really, really small index finger, but, you know, good enough. It doesn't really need to be that big, I don't think. Okay, but anyway, let's get on to the articulation. It has pretty good amount. First, his head. It's a little stiff. His head can move 360 degrees. Um, his arms rotate 360 degrees also, as well. They do not go up, similar to the Rosaurus figures. Um, they just rotate so like so. Um, and also, his waist articulates 360 degrees. I didn't notice that, but I found out a couple days ago. Because I unboxed this separately, um, and I just could not get the review part down but now I feel like I'm doing a good job so but yeah I just found that out his ra his waist rotates his uh his legs are stationary they don't move at all but um but the detail for that it, it makes up for it his legs are really detailed like you can even see the wrinkles right there and in his shoes which look really good and also his wrist articulates let's see if you can get a good shot of this his wrist rotates 360 degrees on both hands. And now I'm going to show you what he looks like with his um, sword in hand. His sword. And you know what's weird? Um, his tunic is the color of Link's also. It looks similar to it. And this is actually the colors of the Master Sword. I don't know. That might just be a coincidence. But I thought that was kind of cool. Well, I think it can go on both hands. But let me check. It looks as if it can go on both, but... No, no, I don't think it can go on that one. I'm struggling to get it in there. But this one goes in really easy. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it goes in his left hand. But of course, to me, it's my right. But yeah, his left hand. Um, And, you know, you can make him slice. Oh, well, sword's kind of bendy, but... Yeah, it looks pretty cool with that, and he can stand, unlike Shu. I think Shu's crazy hairstyle makes, um, 
makes him unable to stand by himself on his own power. And yeah, I showed you the light. Now let me put this on his back for all the accessories. Be properly put on there. And he, he does not stand with that on his back. But, you know, you can just display it right next to him, like that. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much the Jira figure in the line. Blue Dragon. Awaken the power within. So I hope you enjoyed this review and hopefully convinced you to buy this Jira figure. So, um, bye guys.